It works by a person from the community calling in to 1-800-272-3900 and reaching a volunteer who has received 32 plus hours of training in regards to dementia care. They guide them through what might be considered next steps, understanding what memory loss is, what some of the behaviors they are seeing, what some of their concerns are. We have tip sheets, resource material, and manuals that we can send. Once you've decided to make the call, you've actually made the first step. The second step would be for us to send you materials on whatever the issues or concerns, whether it's understanding memory loss, how to help someone bathe, how to help someone decide to not drive, all of those kinds of care concern issues that would come in through the helpline. All helpline volunteers received 32 to 35 hours of helpline training from phone techniques to documentation. They are subject matter experts. They understand memory loss. They know where to go within our files, within our research source materials that we have available online and in the helpline. The average volunteer is not just a, a person that has just come in off the street. These are people that have had the, a family member, have been in the industry, whether they are retired nurses, uh, social workers, so they are definitely experts in understanding memory loss. Some of the questions that we get in the help on the helpline um, range from I'm suspecting in myself I'm having trouble memorizing or memory remembering things. Um, I'm always forgetting where I'm going. Um, to seeing behaviors in a parent. Uh, they feel like the behavior or the characteristics of something they are seeing in a parent, they're not clear if that is memory loss. Um, sometimes we as human beings get a little frustrated with each other when we're actually seeing memory loss, but we get frustrated because we're not clear what it is yet. Um, we get sometimes family members that have gone to a doctor who have been given the diagnosis but don't know what steps to take next. So the questions can be anything from, I don't understand why mom's acting this way, um, why doesn't dad remember me, I'm seeing something in myself, um, how do I um, keep mom from getting agitated, uh, those arrays of kinds of things to the extreme of sometimes violence or paranoia. We try to stay very neutral in our information. We don't want to make it feel like advice. But as a caregiver is going through the stages with a parent, helping them understand that the stages, the behavior, the anger sometimes, the paranoia, it is not personal, it's the disease. And helping them um, struggle through that and understanding memory loss, making sure that they've got a support group that they are going to, making sure that they have gone to the basics, maybe some communication tips, helping families understand that it's the disease and not the person. Um, one of the ultimate pieces is to also help them feel good about what they've done. Sometimes you will have um, adult children who feel like they haven't done enough. Um, or don't know what to do, but they really have and are doing the best that they can do with the tools and the skills that they have. This is just a very complicated disease because the characteristics, the behavior, is not always the same from person to person. Our newest service that we are offering online is Alls Connected, and it is a um, message board like service. You can go online, you can type in a concern or issue you have, and then other people can respond to that. We have trained social workers, um, staff that are monitoring it so that things are 
correct and um, not inappropriate if you want to chat with other people who have the same issues or concerns and kind of glean information, share your resources if something worked for you but it didn't work for someone else. But it's a way of understanding that you aren't alone, that there are lots of other people out there that are going through what you're going through. The wonderful pieces about the helpline is that we help families navigate whether it's needing a uh, assisted living facility, needing a case manager, social worker, needing an attorney. And a new piece that we're also rolling out is All's Navigator that does the same thing. By putting in your address, some details about yourself, it will tell you what um, respite care agencies, what case managers, social workers, um, hospice agencies are in your neighborhood, in your area. And it's also a, a wonderful way if you have limited time, you aren't able to make a phone call, um, you need to talk to someone in the evening. It, it's a great service, a great opportunity.